Using sound pools is one of the great things about Music Maker. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at what you need to know about sound pools, what and where they are, and an understanding of the loops window. This is an update to my previous tutorials about sound pools, as Music Maker 2023 has some differences. I'm using Music Maker 2023, which is version 31, something or other, as shown at the bottom right of the Start dialog. I also have Premium Edition 2022, not 2023. An edition is not the program. The program is free. Editions are not free. To upgrade to Music Maker 2023, see my tutorial on getting started in Music Maker 2023. You may not have everything shown in this tutorial if you're using the free version or if your last activated edition is quite old. In Music Maker 2023, there's a button at the top menu for loops if the loops window is not already open. You can put the loops window in the right window or the east dock, or the bottom window, the south dock, or you can drag the window elsewhere, like to another monitor if you have one. The loops window can be resized. The loops window is in the east dock right now, and I'll drag it to the south dock. This makes it easier to see all of the columns. The columns can also be resized. There are three parts, sound pools, instruments, and loop name. At the upper right is a parameters gear. Open this, and we see layout mode with three options, automatically, horizontal, and vertical. Leave this as automatically unless you put the loops window on a separate monitor and you want to change the layout. Next is add new sound pools. We'll come back to this. Next is optional rows. Clicking on this gives a listing of BPM, length, harmony, type, sound pool, and preview. I'll add all except the last two. Sound pools represent particular music genres of pre-recorded loops performed by professionals. In other words, a sound pool is a sound library that covers a certain musical style. Most loops are audio files, but some are MIDI files. Examples of musical genres are shown in the listing at the top of the store, including blues, country, dance, easy listening, etc. We can see in the loops window that a sound pool is composed of loops, all of which have a defined tempo, that is, beats per minute or BPM. Loops are ordered according to instruments, like bass, brass, drums, effects, keys, etc. Each loop or sound can have a different pitch, except for drums and effects sounds. The pitches are indicated by the numbers 1 through 7. Select 1 and look at the harmony column. It says C major. Pitch 2 gives you D minor, 3, E minor, and so on. These are chord progressions for the key of C. There may not be all pitches for all instruments, and there may not be all instruments for all sound pools. Drums, percussions, and some others don't have pitches, obviously, but there are some exceptions. Note that these instruments just indicate the family of the loops, and these instruments cannot be played by the user. They are not VST instruments. You can use these loops in Music Maker to create or help in the creation of a song. The location of sound pools was defined when you installed Music Maker. By default, they'll be under Users, Public, Documents, Magics, Common, Sound Pools. You can also see the location of the sound pools by going to the Program Settings by clicking on the Gear Shape button and selecting the Folders tab. In Windows Explorer, you can see that I have many that were purchased before Magix invented the in-app store. I'm responsible for maintaining these and backing them up. I do not want to lose any of them. Sound pools purchased or obtained through the in-app store go under the main folder, but under the subfolder called Shop. As you can see, I have many. If you've purchased any actual sound pools from Planet Producer or obtained them from older versions or from Katu, which no longer exists, and they don't show up in Music Maker under Loops, click on the gear button under Loops, select Add New Sound Pools, and navigate to the Sound Pool subfolder for the missing sound pool. OK, and the sound pool with its loops will be added to the Loops window. 
If there is a problem and your sound pools purchased from the store don't show up, even though you're logged in, go to the program settings, clean up store. The local store database and its cache are deleted and reset. This function is intended for emergencies such as if the shop is not operating correctly, even after restarting the program. It does not remove any sound pools from your hard drive. You will have to reopen Music Maker and log in manually after doing this. You can also click on Rescan Sound Pools. This resets the sound pool database and rescans the sound pools folder. All rescanned sound pools will show up as new in the loops window. Then, check to make sure that everything that you should have shows up in the loops window. Some of you may have received sound pools from several years ago on a CD or DVD. To be able to use them, they have to be installed on your computer, and by default, they should end up under the common sound pools folder, as I showed you. If they end up somewhere else, find them and copy them or move them to the proper sound pools folder, and go through the Add New Sound Pools parameter to get them to show up in Music Maker. The samples have to be on your computer. You can't just keep them on a CD and create a path to it. So don't even try. They won't work right. Let's take a look at the details of the Feel Good Sound Pool. Under the Root folder, we see subfolders of the various instruments. There's a text file, bpm.info, with each sound pool. Opening this with a text editor, we see the tempo, 125 BPM, the harmony table with the scale in C, and the samples from 1 through 7 corresponding to the pitches of the chord progression for the C scale. The capitalized letters are major, the small letters are minor, so 1 is C major, 2 is D minor, 3 is E minor, etc. These correspond to the pitch numbers in the loops window. Looking at the first instrument subfolder, bass, we see the names of the loops, like right bass A1.OGG, where the 1 corresponds to the pitch of the loop, in this case C major. There are right bass A files numbered 1 through 7. Thus you can see that there's a file for each pitch. So this number corresponds to the pitch number in the loops window. You can see here the structure of the sound pools. If you purchase something that's not a sound pool, like just loops, if they don't have the same structure, you can't use them in the loops window, but you can load them individually using the file manager. Back in Windows Explorer, Feel Good folder, there is also a file called description.xml. In recent sound pools, this file is used by SongMaker. When you installed Music Maker 2023, you were offered some free sound pools. I presume that you installed them. If not, you can click on the free sound pools on the Start dialog screen to see them in the store, or look under the store, select sound pools from the drop down if not already showing, and check for sound pools by price to see if there are any that cost zero. To purchase a sound pool from the store, click on the eye for information. Review what's written there. Sometimes sound pools are reissued with a different name under the store than that from before the store. If you have older sound pools not purchased through the store, check that you don't already have that sound pool. Click on Buy Now to get the purchase screen. You can select the license that you want and you'll see the different prices. Click on Show More Information and read what is shown. Note that all sound pools are royalty free. However, there are different licenses depending on the use non-commercial, commercial. Click on the exclamation button for licensing information. If you have a coupon, now is the time to redeem it. Just remember that if you purchase a $10 item with a $20 coupon, there's no change. The coupon is completely redeemed. You may also want to read the terms and conditions and privacy policy before continuing. Click on the box for I agree. You might want to review the rate of withdrawal information. When you click on Buy Now, you'll be taken to a screen for your credit card information. I'll let you go through that by yourself. You'll be asked to log in, so do so. Finally, the sound pool will be automatically downloaded and installed. I now have my new purchase, Hot Like Summer, under Loops. I've already shown you where to put any sound pools obtained or purchased outside of the store. Other than the store, you can purchase sound pools from Producer Planet. However, 
Unlike purchases using the store, installation is not automatic. You'll have to download and unzip or extract the folder and files under the sound pools folder. Then you'll have to go to the loops parameter and add new sound pools, locate the new folder with a sound pool and add it. Producer Planet has much more than just sound pools. There are Acid Loops for Magic's Acid, a separate program, and Generic Loops. Only those that show the word Sound Pool on the cover sheet are Sound Pools. If the word Sound Pool isn't there, then it is not a Sound Pool. If you purchase one of these, you should extract it or put it somewhere on your hard drive, preferably grouped with any other non-Sound Pool loops for easy retrieval. You can import them into the arranger using the file manager. Do not attempt to add them as sound pools. Let's look at the loops window. By default, sound pools are downloaded and installed in OGG format, but you can change that to the higher quality WAV format. In the program settings menu, the gear icon, general options tab, under media pool, you can change the format from standard quality, OGG, to best quality, WAVE. A message pops up telling you that if you would like to change all sound pools on your computer to this format, you can download them again. Alternatively, in the loops window, you can open the settings gear icon with sound pools, sound pool format, and change the format to best quality, WAVE. A message pops up telling you that if you would like to change all sound pools on your computer to this format, you can download them again. This means those sound pools purchased through the store, as others will have to be done manually if still available to you. Either way will cause all store-bought sound pools to show up in the store with update indicated. To quickly see these, open the second pop-down and select Show Updates Only. You can then proceed to download and install each of these. The existing format will be removed and replaced by the selected format. My OGG files are now WAV files. If you have any projects that used OGG files and you reopen the project, Music Maker will usually find the equivalent files, which are now WAV files. Even if you don't change the format, you can uninstall a sound pool by right-clicking on the sound pool name. Assuming that the sound pool was acquired through the store, you can download that sound pool again. I don't recommend uninstalling a sound pool without good reason. If you reopen a project containing loops from an uninstalled sound pool, obviously Music Maker won't find them and will let you know. If you manage to obtain the sound pool in the other format with WAV files, then you can uninstall the sound pool and install the other format in its place without having both OGG and WAV files for the same sound pool. An example would be downloading the WAV file option from Planet Producer if the sound pool doesn't show up in Music Maker for updating. Uninstall the existing sound pool containing OGG files and install a sound pool containing the WAV files. You may have to rescan or add the sound pool, as I mentioned before. If the sound pool was acquired from before the existence of the store, like from Katu, then the sound pool will not show up for downloads. If you uninstall one of these, you will have to use your backup file to put the sound pool back in its location and scan for the sound pool. You kept your backup, right? Let's look at using some loops to make a short song. I'll select the free sound pool, House, House by the Sea. I'll start with drums to get the beat. As soon as you click on a loop, it plays back. I'll double click on Move It A, and it's put on track one for two bars. Then double click Move It B for two bars. I'll add Move It C for two bars. Loops are set up to loop, meaning that they can repeat. I want this loop to be four bars long, so I'll drag the end of the loop with a double-headed arrow that appears towards the right, and the loop repeats, but I have just one object. You can also drag the left end. Note that Piano VSTI was indicated by default in the track one header, instead of drums. If this happens, click on the icon to get the list of instruments and select No VSTI. Then right click on the icon to get the list of icons and select the drums and then change the name to drums. Now for the bass. I'll select pitch 1, C major. Double click on fingered which gives me two bars and C shows in the pitch bar at the top. 
There's a pop-down for the pitch with the various available pitches listed. If you select a different one, the loop will be replaced by the loop with a selected pitch. There's also advanced with options for major and minor chords. This appears only if you've activated a plus or premium edition, I believe. Now, watch the waveform under loop name when I switch to pitch 4, F major. It changes. Double click fingered for another two bars. Then pitch 5, F major. The waveform changes again. Double click. This may not always be the case, but here the musician played slightly different notes for each pitch. Back to pitch 1 and double click. I only want one bar, so I'll shorten the loop by dragging the end towards the left. I'll add some brass, starting with pitch 1. I want blames fast, but this is four bars long. No problem. I'll double click and get four bars. Note that the second pitch bar shows C and F. If several pitches are used within the same duration, several chords will be displayed in the pitch bar. I'll trim the brass back for just two bars, and the second pitch bar just shows F. Now for pitch 4, F. Double clicking gives me four bars, but I only want two. It overlaps with the next pitch, showing F and G. This time, I'll trim the left end and drag the loop back to bar 3 for just F. The next pitch bar is now correct at G. Now for pitch 5, G. This time, I'll select higher. Double click and trim this back to two bars. Back to pitch 1, C. And I'll double click on higher again, but this time I'll trim it back to after the first two notes. I'm looking for a finish, and this should do it. I think I'll add a little to the drums to end it off. I'll select Move It L, which is just one bar. I don't want it added to the existing drums track, so I'll just drag it onto the arranger where I want it on track 4. I want the drums to fade out, so I'll drag the right fader inwards for almost a bar on both drum objects. Let's give it a little vocal at the end. Note that all pitches are available with the first vocal selected, but if I select Ooh. Ooh, A, there is no pitch available. No problem. Since I don't have a vocal track yet, and I don't want this to be at the beginning, I'll place the playback marker where I want to insert Wu A, and now Ooh. double click. It's put at the right place. Note the yellow range bar, or the loop bar, at the top. It should extend over the entire song. If not, double click on it, or drag the ends, or click on the magnifying glass at the bottom right of the arranger. I now have my short song. Want to hear it? Then you'll have to do exactly what I did and play it back. You have access to the normal object editing tools, like adjusting the volume, fading, etc. Click on the down arrow at the bottom right of a loop to see more tools. Using these is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Don't forget to save your project. In fact, save often. I'll create a new project. It's always best to save a project right away with a name other than new. So I'll save this one as Test Song Templates. If you've activated plus and premium features in the past, like I have with Premium Edition 2022, You'll see pitches indicated at the top of the track header column. Open the pop down and you'll see a listing of preset song templates. Some of these templates are typical chord progressions that can help you put loops together to form song parts. An example is Cherry. Selecting it will place the pitches with durations along the top. They are A minor, F, C, G, and then they repeat, and all are one bar long. Others are complete song structures with entire song sections, for example, verse, chorus, etc., that are defined by the chord progressions. An example is home, with A, F, A, F, A, F, D, G, C, G, F, etc., and the durations change. Unfortunately, the song parts are not displayed. Now, all you have to do is build your own song following the indicated pitches and durations. When you double-click on an object, It'll be put on the track for the duration depending on the template and pattern. The program automatically puts in the correct pitch and cuts the object at the mark for each pitch, so you don't have to select the pitches yourself. Then you just keep on repeating using the various instruments and loops until the end. Watch for song part changes. Remember, if you want a new instrument to start somewhere else other than the beginning, 
Move the playback marker there before double clicking on a loop. I'll leave the rest to you. That's it for Soundpool's Essentials. If you haven't used loops before, I suggest that you play around with them like I have. Listen to the various instruments, loops, and variations. You can always use loops for more than one sound pool in your song, so try that, preferably those with the same BPM. You can use loops, record using the VST instruments, and add your own vocals all together in a project to create your own song. Thanks for watching. Till next time, make music.